Oh, 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 we haven't moved it. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hello. everybody. Hi. Hello. Good evening. I'm just getting ready. Give me one second. I think that will be okay. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Great. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Yeah. It's really good. And you? I just have this back pain. It's really strong. Mm. Uh, at a lot of work. Mm, yeah. That's good. Thanks, God. Excellent. We have a job. <laughs> Thank God we have a job, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Today, let's see. Oh, oh look at look at there. There's my there's Max. Hello, Max. Okay, not yet. No. <laughs> okay. Is that Abela around? Hello, Arabella. Mm -hmm. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Arabella. Mm -hmm. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing great too. Thanks for asking. Okay. Okay, Max, I guess <laughs> there was an error or something. Yeah. Okay. Good, okay. Good. Um, hello, Adriana. Good evening, how are you? Hi, how are you? Doing great. Thanks for asking. Wendy? Okay. Good, so we're ready, I think. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, do you remember yesterday's class? Yes. What, what was it about? About pronoun subjects. Subjects. Subject pronouns. Okay. Subject pronouns. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about relative pronouns, right? Yes. Yeah, relative pronouns. Remember, and we just talked about who or that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can can somebody give me an example? Mm. The uh, with the uh, with the subject or first the two sentences. Um. With. With the um. With with both sentences. Yes. As the okay. Way we did it yesterday. Uh huh. Okay, I like, um, I like to meet uh, people, they are funny. I like to meet people, they are funny, mm -hmm. good. And uh, I like to meet people who are funny. Excellent, very good. So you replace they with mm -hmm. who, right? Yeah. <laughs> Could you say that? Yes. Yes, you can uh -huh. say that too. Uh, yes. Excellent, very good. Okay, let's take a quick look to that part. So yesterday we used who. Uh -huh. There's gonna be a problem. Okay, yesterday we used who and that. So here's, here's a list of steps that you can use to use the relative pronouns Okay, a subject. So let's see. Um, Adriana, could you help me reading? Let's go with step number one. Step one, find, find the two words that refer to the same thing, person. The same thing slash person or person, right? To the same thing or person. Or Excellent. Person. 
So what will that be? Find the two words that refer to the same thing or person. In this sentence, the woman is in my class. She likes tennis. What will it be? Uh, the woman is in my class who likes tennis. Yes, that's right. Um, mm. Close, actually, very close. But read the, the first step. It says, ah, find okay. the two words that refer to the same thing or person. Woman is ah, a woman. Woman and she. Okay, excellent. Yeah, woman and, and she. she. And she. Okay. Yeah, you have woman and you have she. Very good. Okay, number two, replace the second word with a relative pronoun. Now, in this case, we'll use a subject relative pronoun, that, which, or who. Uh, for people, we said yesterday, we can only use who and that. Yes. Okay. So the woman is in my class who likes tennis, okay? Likes that likes tennis. So, step number three, uh, Maravela. Uh, move the walls, adjective clothes, hold adjective clothes behind the noun in modifies. It modifies, okay? Continue. Okay. Um, this Two sentences are both correct. Are both correct. Repeat, okay. sentences. Sentences. Are both correct. Okay. So both are correct. Can you read them, Maravela? Uh, the woman who likes tennis is in my class. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the woman that likes tennis is in my class. Yep, so both ways are correct. Now, on your notebook, let's go ahead and do this. Now, do you have any questions? Do you have questions? No questions? Okay. No questions. Perfect. Okay, let's go and take your notebook and let's replace the subjects with the relative clauses who or that, okay? Here you have the examples. It's just six exercises. Go on your notebook. I'll wait for you, okay?
Okay, I'm still here. I'm just going to fix something here while you do that. Espérame, déjame ver. Sí, sí. Ups. No tienes un bolígrafo, pues deja que se me acabó la tinta. Bolígrafo. Okay, how are you doing? Not very well. Not very well. No. <laughs> Almost finished. Almost done. Almost done. Good. Almost done. <laughs> I am done. You're done? Great. Wait, uh, I have a question. A question. A okay. Question. Uh, question. There question. you go. Uh -huh. Okay. What is the meaning of open table? Open table. I see an open yes. table. Available. Available. Good. What is available? Como disponible. Beautiful Spanish. Yes. Ah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Hey, is this better? Am I less white? I looked I looked whiter. I looked white, right? Now I, I think I I just fix it. I think I can yeah. it's better, right? Okay, what's too white? Okay, too bright. <laughs> I was too bright. Okay, good. Let's see. So do you see that cat? It is on the roof. Um, the answer is, do you see the cat that is on the roof? Yeah. Very good. You see the cat that is on the roof? So I'm replacing. The question mark. Sorry? The question mark. Oh, thank you. The question mark. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello, Madeline. Hello. Good evening. Good oh, evening. My classmates and you, teacher. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So I'm replacing that <laughs> with it. Okay, and that's it, simple as that, okay? Do you see the cat? It is on the roof. Do you see the cat that is on the roof? Great, 
Okay, Max, can you try number two? The man is a dentist. He lives ne next to me. The man who lives next to me is a dentist. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. The man who lives next to me is a dentist. Yeah, I will say that the same way. Very good. So I'm using who and I'm replacing what? <laughs> he, right? He, he. Okay, come on, guys. Yeah, so I'm replacing the subject, remember. Replace he. Mm -hmm. He and who. Okay, very good. Very good. Mom, let's see. Let's go with someone who never speaks. There's a Galaxy A20s. I don't know who's that. Okay, let's see. Stanley Arteaga. Stanley, can you try it? Hello. Uh, I see an open table that is by the window. Okay, do we all agree? I see an open table. That is by the window. Okay, I see yes. an open table that is by the window. Okay, that. Yes. Okay. Yes, because it's a, it's a thing. We cannot use uh, oh. Excellent, so mm -hmm. we use, now I'm replacing mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Right? Just it. Yes. Good. Okay. Okay. Next. Um, Wendy. She invited a guy. She invited a guy. I repeat. She invited a guy to the party. The guy dances really well. Okay, Wendy. Okay, I'm waiting for Wendy to turn on her microphone. Maybe she's not. Hello, Wendy. Okay, if Wendy's not there, let's go with Elvis Abrego. Yes, teacher. Um, sorry. Um, she she's she Biden uh, guys uh, who to oh, the party uh -huh. to the party who who yeah. dance really well. Who dances, who dances who dance. really well. Really, really well. She invited a guy to the party who dances really well. So what am I replacing, Elvis? Um, uh, replacing... Uh, Remember, step number one is to identify the subject, right? Uh, uh -huh. Okay, in this case, we have a guy, and I'm replacing it with who, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, sorry, actually, I'm replacing the guy, okay, with who? Okay. Excellent, Elvis, I like your voice. Thank you. <laughs> you have a baby. Okay. Thank you, Elvis. Yeah, he's next to me. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with Daniela. Daniela likes to talk. The desk is made of oak. It was built by my friend. The desk is made of oak that was built by my friend. Okay. Hmm. It's made of oak. 
That was hmm, built by my friend. Like that? Desk is made of oak that was built by my friend. Um, yeah, but it's with instead of D in the bird. Oh, sorry, it yes, built. It was built. Yeah. Pass yeah. yeah. Passive voice, thank you. It was built, that was built by my friend. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it too. I think there's something. How else could you say it? Madeline, Nineveh, Violeta. Tell me. Veronica. How else can you say it? The desk is made of oak that was built by my friend. Because because it sounds it sounds like the oak, the oak was built by my friend. Hmm. The desk which or oh, the desk that was built by my friend is made of oak. Oak, oak. Okay. Oak. The desk. Hmm. Hmm. The desk that was built by my friend is made of oak. Excellent. It's made of oak. That sounds better. Yeah. The mm -hmm. desk that was built by my friend is made of oak. Excellent. What I mean, oak. Oak. An oak tree. An oak tree. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's some sort of uh, tree. It's a kind of wood. Is a kind of wood, a kind of tree. It's actually the longest, the longest trees in the world, I think. You know, there, there are no, there are oak trees that are a hundred years old. Oh. There's a park. There is a park in California, I think, made made of oak trees. In oak. Oak furniture is very expensive and famous among Salvadorians. So can somebody translate? What is oak? What kind of wood? Roble. Roble, right? Okay, very good. It's not cedro, right? It's roble. Very good. Okay, now we have people shouldn't throw stones Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. So what are replacing with that? It. 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 Very good. This is very simple. So this it, right? Excellent. And the last one. People shouldn't throw stones. They live in glass houses. Nineveh. People shouldn't throw stones. That live in glass house. No. Hmm. No. Think, 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 think. Look at the <laughs> look at the previous example. Look at the previous example. You said people shouldn't. Oh. No. Yeah, people shouldn't throw stones that live in glass houses. Hmm. I don't like the way it sounds. People who live in glass house shouldn't throw stones. Excellent. Okay, people who live instead of that, yeah. What about leaves? Who leaves? Hmm. No, it's plural, right? So I'm fine. People who mm -hmm. live in glass houses yeah. shouldn't throw stones. Got it. Think think about the doer of the action. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. And I'm replacing who? I'm replacing they with who? Same thing. Great job. Okay. Do you have any questions? No questions. No questions. No. I have I have one question. 
so we we can we can use who and that uh, in whatever we want or we think it sounds good in the sentence or we have to use uh, who for some sentences and that or other. Teacher, I we couldn't hear you. Sorry, we need to use who for people and that for things. Okay, better. So, yes, who for people, that for things. Okay, any other question? No, okay, let's move on. And I'm sorry, um, Galaxy A20S, I'm sorry, what's your name? Hello? Sorry, what is the question? Ah, uh, no, I'm estoy tratando de averiguar quién es el Galaxy A20. Porque... Ah. <laughs> Para agregarle el nombre. Hello? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. What's your name? My name is Yesenia. Yesenia, thank you very much. Okay, Yesenia. Thank you, Yesenia. Okay, there we go. That's better. Ahora nos conocemos. Okay, good. Let's continue, guys. So if there are no questions now, that was with subjects. When we replace a subject, then we use who or that. Okay. Now, if we want to use, um, let's see, Let, let's read, okay? So you can understand it as I do too. Uh, step number one, Yesenia, help me. What is the same in both sentence? The woman and her, they both refer to the same thing, the woman. Okay, now repeat, sentences. Sentences. Okay, sentences. It's pluralized. Sentences. And okay. repeat, the woman, the woman, the woman, the, the, wo the woman. Yeah, it the sounds woman. like like a vowel, right? The woman, the woman. Okay, the woman. The woman. Is on my is in my class. I like her. Okay, so this is as pronouns. Okay, relative. Relative pronouns to replace pronouns, to replace nouns as well. So let, let's see, the woman is in my class, I like her. The first step again is to identify what is the same in both sentences. So I have woman, okay, and I have her, right? Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because, <laughs> yes, I mean, yes. yeah, the woman and I, it's two different things, okay. Okay, if we look at the second sure. word, uh, help me, Violeta. That's too much. <laughs> Turn on your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we look at the second word, hair, we can see that is not the subject in the sentence. It's the object. I like her. Hair is the object of the verb like. For objects, we have to use an object relative pronoun which are the following. Okay, we have who, again, or whom. I if you ever, oh, no, what? 
I finish? Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much, Arleta. Okay, yes, you can use who or whom for people. Whom is a little old fashioned. Can somebody tell me, explain me in English? What is a little old fashioned? Something that we okay. use in the past. Excellent. I think that's the right spelling, archaic. Mm -hmm. Okay, archaic mm -hmm. English, let's say. Mm -hmm. It used to be used a lot. This used to be a, another pronoun in the English, okay, in the English native speakers from England. And they still use it, so it is correct. Okay. In, in, the, in the prayer. In the, uh, in the worship, uh, when you worship. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how is the name of the prayer in English, Padre Nuestro. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I don't know too. <laughs> yeah, Padre Nuestro. Uh, we, but we use whom in the, in the prayer. Whom, yes. Yeah. Actually, the English Bible uses a lot of archaic English. Yes. Instead yes. of, instead of they, instead of they, they use the. For example, no, I'm sorry, it's the, 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 yeah, they, the, and so on. There's a lot of archaic English around, but it, in the Bible, you will find that. Okay, now that for but people. Who is who that, or, or is the same? It's the same. Like a singular who, okay. But for people, singular or plural, people. Okay. Now, whom, let's leave it this way. Whom means quien. Okay. The woman whom I married with. La mujer con quien me casé. Whom I married with. Okay. Question I heard from a movie. What movie? I can't remember the name of the movie, but I remember the question. Mm -hmm. Someone asked, for whom are you working? For whom are you working? Working. Okay. Or like this, Max, for whom are you working? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. For whom are you working? Para quien? Very good. Good example. So that for people and things. Okay. Mm. We use nothing. Keep an eye on this. We use nothing for people and things sometimes too. So you can eliminate. Okay. You can eliminate it, which is for things. And let's read this really quick. Nothing, yes. We do not need a relative pronoun if we are replacing the object of a verb. Let me show you how by continuing with um, our example. So number two, you need to, I don't like to read too much. Let's go with Veronica. Number two, <laughs> step two. Step two, replace the second word with a relative pronoun. Who, whom, that, nothing, which. For example. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, for example, the woman is in my class. I like her, whom does not. Ah, does, ah, okay. Okay, I like her. Uh, I like so, her. her, you will replace her who? with who whom, that, or nothing. Okay, instead of her. How will you do it, guys? Hmm. Let's continue reading because we are making an adjective clause. I with... get lost in that sentence. You got lost, right? I yes. know. Look at the example. The woman whom I like is in my class. Oh. Instead of her, you use whom. Instead okay. of her, you use who. But you reverse. Because it's not longer the object of the verb. Okay, here you have the object of the verb is her. El objeto del verbo es ella. A quien afecta el verbo directamente es ella. Yes, I mean. Ok. 
Okay. Direct objects. Ahora, hacemos lo opuesto. Movemos ese objeto y lo volvemos indirecto poniéndolo antes del verbo. So, antes del sujeto. So, let's see. The woman whom I like is in my class. Y lo que decía, puedo obviar esta parte. The woman is in my class. O, oh, the woman I like is in my class. And I'm not adding any of the relative uh, Teacher, can I say, uh, I like the woman that is in my class. Yes, you can say it. I like the woman that is in my class. I like the woman who's in my, who's in my class, who is in my class. But you cannot say, I like the woman who is in my class. That sounds weird. So a good advice, a good tip is to always listen to yourself. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let's practice again. So let's practice so you can uh, get it right. Go on your notebook again and let's do the examples. I invited the professor. You met him last year. The printer is broken. We were using it yesterday. I don't want to hear the song. We just heard it. Hmm. That's the man. I had a big argument with him yesterday. Hmm. His list of customers in his address book. He calls them once a month. He's always talking about his car. He brought it last year in London. I think there are no new words, right? That you don't know. No. Okay, cool. Teacher, I can see the, the sentences. It's not clear. Okay, let me please bigger right now. Better? Yeah, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I'm sorry, what are the other words that we're going to use? Whom? And yeah, who, that are the main ones. And yes, okay. you can try using whom too. Who, who, and that. Yep, let me write them down here. So you okay, have please, who. thank you. Yeah, sure, whom, and that.
For example, let me give you a clue, a clue. Okay. Here, you should use whom. No, me, I was about to do. <laughs> okay. I've been listening to podcasts, teacher. To what? Podcasts. Great. Yeah. Where? Deezer. Uh, Come again? Deezer. Deezer. Send the link to the chat. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Sorry, let me do something really quick. Don't pay attention to this, it's just for later, okay? <laughs> Think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Good. Nirvana. I heard some curious phrases on that podcast. <laughs> really? One like? of those podcasts was about things parents say to children. Things that parents parents may say to children yeah. very very often. And, uh, were phrases that they remember they were told. Hmm. For example, uh, a girl said that when she was hungry, uh, she always told to her mother, and it was like, "Hey, mom, I'm hungry." And she replied, hello, hungry, how are you? Okay. <laughs> well, that could happen, right? If you don't understand at all. Yeah. Like me, I could have told you right now. Hello, Don. Oh, yeah. You can use it in a lot of different situations. That's right. Like I'm happy, whatever. Yeah.
Okay, ready? Let's go. Let's see, Max, go for the first one. I invited the professor, you met him last year. I invited the professor who you met last year. Who we met. Oh, sorry. Is that right? Who we, who you met? Who you met? Mm -hmm. Or who we met? What are we replacing, right? Who we met last year. No, that's okay. Who you met. We're replacing him. Right. Yep, I invited the professor who you met last year. Do we all agree? Does anybody disagree? No, it's correct. It, it is correct? I okay. I did different. Veronica, come again. I did different. Uh, the professor who you met last year, I invited. I invited him. I invited. But no, no, that, that will be incorrect. Okay. Yeah, that I think that yeah, that's the most proper way. Let's say, okay. because if not, Veronica, you will be talking like Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> you got okay. it right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Veronica. Go with the second one. The printer is broken. We were using it yesterday. By the way, guys, when you have this little guy here, it sounds like et. Okay, as a pronoun it sounds like et as a subject it sounds like eat it is your turn okay let me talk about it let me talk about it about it we were using it yesterday okay good so go ahead Veronica okay well uh, the the printer is uh Okay, the printer that we were using yesterday is broken. Excellent. Okay. See, it sounds totally different, right? It sounds better. Okay, so in this case, we use him, I mean, who, and we replaced him. And here, the printer that is broken, we are replacing that. We're replacing at instead of we're using at that. The printer that we were using yesterday is broken. So it's like thinking about giving a, a, a reason to the object. The printer that we were using yesterday is making reference to that object. You hear? It's making reference to that object. And then you tell what happened with that object. Let's look at this next example. Uh, Madeline, try it. Number three. I don't want. I don't want to hear the song. I don't want to hear the song. We just hear it. Okay. Hear. Re repeat. Repeat. I don't want to hear the song. I don't song. want to hear the song. We, we just, just hear, hear it. Wait. We just hear it. Hear it. Hear it. We just hear it. I, I don't want to hear. To hear the song. We just hear it. We just hear it. I don't want to hear the song. Uh, who just hear it? We just hear it. We just hear it. There you go. Okay. How will be the way using the relative pronoun? Tell me. How do you do it using that, who, whom? Who? I don't know, you tell me. I don't understand. Did you do the exercise? I read, I read the exercise using who. Okay, who, how did you do it? I don't want to hear the song, who just hit it. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. So what we need to replace here in this sentence is it, et, I'm sorry, it, right? How do you replace this 
with one of those? Do you use who, whom, or that, guys? Who? That. that. I think that that because it's a thing. I think it's that. <laughs> it, is an, it is an object. It is an object. So we say, how will you do it, Alicia? I don't want to hear the song that we just heard. Okay. Is that right? I'm not sure. Why? I do the same like uh, okay. Alicia. Like Alicia? Okay. Yeah, I will say that too. I don't want to hear the sound that, that we just heard. It's correct, teacher? Yeah, it, it is grammatically is right. Okay. Um, We just, okay, I will have said too, we just heard that song. Uh -huh. Mama, I don't want to hear it. Okay. This is, this is another example. Another way, yeah, another example. Another we, way. Just heard, okay. we just heard that song. I don't want to hear it. Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm actually doing... This same thing, but backwards. I don't mm -hmm. want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that will not work. So uh, yes, applying what we're studying, it will be this way. I don't want to hear the song that we just heard. Excellent. Okay, that's the man. I had a big argument with him yesterday. Let's see someone else down below here. I need Adriana, Daniela, or Jarvin. I do. Thank you, Daniela. Go ahead. Okay. That's the man who with I had a big argument yesterday. Hmm. Did you say who with? Yeah. That's the man. I have a different with... one. Wait, wait, wait. That's the man. Uh huh. Who with I had a big argument yesterday mm -hmm. okay what do you think guys someone said you said something you have something different yes mm -hmm. i have one he's the man who i had a big argument yesterday okay let me write it he is the man again who who he is the man mm -hmm. who I had a big argument yesterday. Hmm. Anybody else? Let me try. Sure. That's the teacher man with whom I had a big argument yesterday. Teacher. Right now, right now. And I, I, I want to try a sentence that ends with wit. Uh huh. Kind of long. That's the man who I had a big argument yesterday with. Exactly. That's the man whom I had a big argument yesterday with. Both ways are correct. That's Did what you? I would have said right now. Okay, Alicia, is it you? Teacher. Yes, is that, is that you, Alicia? I'm sorry, I'm trying to... No, learn. it's Adelina. Okay, Madeline, uh-huh. Uh, what is the objective uh, to change the words? I I see many phrases, and but I don't know what is confusing. the objective. Confusing, I know, it's confusing. Okay, um, normalmente, uh, tenemos dos formas de hablar, Madeline, okay? Eh, quiero que aquí sí ocupe un poco de la traducción para, para tener comprensión. Ese es el hombre. Tuve un gran argumento con él ayer. Oye, ese es el hombre. Tuve un gran, um, una gran discusión con él ayer. Ese es el hombre. Tuve una gran discusión con él ayer. 
¿A qué estaría diciendo? Ese es el hombre quien con tuve una gran discusión ayer. Ojo con eso. ¿Con quién? ¿Con quién, verdad? Entonces, eso estaría mal. Tendríamos que darle vuelta. At the end of the phrase. It could be. Ahorita vamos a ver. La siguiente diría, ¿quién me lo puede traducir textual? Ese es el hombre con el que tuve una, una discusión ayer. ¿Dónde está el con? Lleva al final, at the end of the, the Aquí yesterday faltó, with. Aquí faltó with, the ¿verdad? Yesterday okay. with. Yesterday with. He is the man yesterday who I had a big with. argument yesterday with, que yesterday es lo que estábamos with. haciendo acá. Es lo mismo, ok. Ok. He is the man who I him. had a big argument yesterday with. Tell me. Who and whom is different? Y vamos a ver si ambas son correctas. Ahorita le voy a dar otros ejemplos súper rápido. Nos queda poco tiempo. Ok. So, that's the man with whom I had a big argument with yesterday. Ese es el hombre con quien okay, tuve un gran, una gran discusión ayer. La última. Ese es el hombre. Y aquí, textualmente, te pasas con el with para acá. Lo pasas para acá. Porque se puede ocupar el with al final de la oración. O donde gramaticalmente debería de ir. Hay un apartado completo sobre preposiciones al final de oraciones. Eso se aplica especialmente a preguntas abiertas. Por ejemplo, who are you going with? ¿Sí? No se dice with who are you going. Porque la regla gramatical dice que una WH empieza con WH. ¿Ok? Con, ya, yeah, so, who are you going with? What is this for? What is this for? What is it for? Terminan todas um, con preposiciones. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Si no agregamos esa preposición al final, no tiene sentido. So acá estaría diciendo exactamente lo mismo en estas dos oraciones. That's the man with, okay, that's the man whom I had a big argument yesterday with. Okay. okay. Good. Vamos a buscar ese, ese artículo y se lo voy a mandar, okay. Ahorita ya les preparé uno repleto de ejemplos con esto, con whom. Ya vamos a llegar. So the next one, he has a list of customers in his address book. He calls them once a month. We're against the time. Anybody? Somebody? Volunteer? Let me try. He has a list of customers in his address book who he calls in a monthly basis. Did you say who? Who he calls, right? Who? I am not in the group. You're not in the group? Okay, I'll send you the invitation today. He has a list of customers in his address book who he, had, who he calls in a daily basis. Monthly. Monthly? Yeah. Oh, yeah, monthly. I'm sorry. And in fact, who he calls once a month who he calls in a monthly basis. Good, good job. Once a month is the same as monthly. I like that. Uh, calls in a monthly basis. And the last one, someone else. Alicia, I haven't talked to you. Um, the answer is he always talking about his car whom bought it last year in London. Hmm. Did you say whom? Yes. Can you do it again? He's always talking about his car. Whom bought? He, he bought. Oh, whom he bought. bought. Hmm. Mm -mm. Let's think about it. He's always talking about his car. He bought it last year in London. And I don't, I'm not sure that what is the word that we re replace that it's car. 
Mm. Okay. He's talking. He's always talking about that car. It's the car. That okay. car he bought last year in London. So that mm -hmm. replaces what? Teacher, the yes. car. And the sentences, uh, you don't have to use the, I don't know, say, el artículo de, or como el carro. It's not necessary. No, because you're, this is a possessive pronoun, his okay. car. Okay. So you're giving possession to the object. He's always talking about that car he bought last year in London. Okay. Ahora eso sería despectivo, ¿verdad? That car, ese carro, ese carrucho. Okay. <laughs> and now let me leave you, let me leave you with these two examples. Um, so you can make a contrast between who and whom. Mm -hmm. And I will send you a link after the class. So you can check the uses of whom. The office was okay. disrupted by the men whom many consider to be rude. La oficina fue, uh, ¿qué sería? Spanish. Interrumpida. Mm. <laughs> fue, fue interrumpida, fue uh, violentada. O violentada, violentada. Ajá. La oficina fue violentada por el hombre. A quien muchos, hoy a quien muchos consideraban ser rudo. A quienes muchos consideraban rudo. Uh -huh. Esa sería la traducción más adecuada. The man who ran through the office was very rude. Más fácil. El hombre que corrió a través de la oficina era muy era rudo. Era muy rudo. Hmm. Muy violento. Como, parece como el cual, a veces, al cual. Muchos al cual, el que, exacto. A, en cambio, whom es, ¿a quién? ¿Quién? ¿A quién? Okay. Eso es otro pronoun que antes se ocupaba, uh -huh. hoy ya no se ocupa. Okay. ok, good guys. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Please be on time. Teacher, okay. I, I, am okay. I am not in group. I will send you the invite link. Does anybody have the invite link? Alicia, do you have it? Yes, Can yes. You send it Madeline, to Madeline. I will send you. Okay, I will send you. Alicia. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good night.